Evil Dead the Game. Should you buy it? Um, this is my first review I've ever done, and usually I'm not the type to do these kind of videos, but I thought this would be very informative, and maybe this might be the best way to usher you or maybe others to play this game, mainly other than Dead by Daylight. <laughs> To give you some background, I've put in probably easily over 12 hours in this game. i played every single character and I've done all the missions. So I would say I know quite a bit about this game at this point. I've seen a few videos um, of other YouTubers talking and playing it. And I've definitely also streamed this quite a bit. So um, if you need any idea of my background, that's about it. But I have also sunk a lot of hours into Dead by Daylight. And I have seen all the Evil Dead movies. So I can definitely tell you a little bit about the history and why this game would be perhaps be worth your buck compared to other sources. Now during this interview, <laughs> I'll be talking about quite a bit of uh, different categories when it comes to the game and perhaps why it is good and bad, but I do want to give you an honest review. And I guess I've never done a review like this before, but perhaps you might like it. So uh, I guess let's get started. This is obviously a video game, so how does the gameplay fare? Um, in my opinion, this is probably one of the most smooth controls I've ever felt in a survival horror game. Um, for being an asymmetrical horror game, um, you can expect a lot, um, just because th there can be a lot of variety, but most likely, um, you're going to be running, and that feels great in this. Um, the movement, they've done a great job, it doesn't feel clunky. Um, I'm, I'm very picky about the way that um, melee feels, for example, and melee in this game just feels great. Uh, generally, when you're playing with melee, except for like, let's say Minecraft, a lot of times it just feels like you're clunky and you're just winging this giant thing for a giant build up, uh, build up. And sometimes you feel that. For example, if you have a heavier weapon, you're going to be obviously swinging slower. But it doesn't feel slow to the point where you're waiting an eternity and people can predict you from a mile away. Um, you can get close, but it's nothing close to uh, other games. And I, I appreciate that. Cough, cough, Skyrim. Another thing is... When you're switching between uh, a gun and melee, it's instantaneous. It's literally one side. It's either left click or right click. That's it. And I love that. Um, even when it comes to doing a heavier light attack, they've done a great job with the controls and getting all, um, all that together. Even when you do go on this demon side, when you're flying all over the place, it feels just like in the movies. Uh, the shaky cam, it's all there. And I feel like this game is definitely a successor um, to the movies in probably one of the best ways possible. I could talk about level design, which I, I wish I could, but I think the best thing I could do, since there really isn't a level design, is go to map design. And um, there's only a few maps in this, just because it did just come out, but um, the maps feel great. I would like I like them just because there are a lot of iconic places, but um, the nice thing too is the atmosphere of this game is perfect. I mean, um, I wouldn't say that's exactly with gameplay, but I mean, in, in the level design, the fact they're able to mesh that both those things together and not make one suffer because of it is great. Now let's go into the combat systems. Um, there are stats, and especially when you look at your weapons, um, I would say there, you do have a little bit of um, sacrifice when it comes to things. For example, when it comes to your guns, do you want faster reload time or do you want higher damage? That's one thing you're going to have to sacrifice, but I'm not so sure if um, it's perfect. Um, because, for example, most of the time you're going to choose damage over anything else. And there is a lot of working out the kinks for this game. Um, for example, I do think some classes in the game, because there's just multiple classes, um, mainly for the survivor side. Um, primarily the hunter class, I would say the combat system is a little bit overpowered there compared to another class such as uh, the warrior, which a great, great uh, really good class to be still, but nothing close to someone that actually used to play the game um, probably for more than a week. Now let's talk about the market. Um, expectations about this game? Um, there's been a lot of hearsay, but nobody really knew for sure if it hit the market. Um, and when it finally did, everyone was like, oh my goodness. Um, so I would say people were very pleased with this. The biggest thing about this is competition against Dead by Daily. And that's again why I'm talking about this. Um, Dead by Daily has had no competition in the asymmetrical space. And because of that, a lot of people have suffered. Um, because there's been no serious contenders, um, a lot of people are wondering when the next one's going to come. And the one that people were hoping for is VHS. Even then, there's a closed beta, so not everyone can play. This puppy comes out, Evil Dead the Game, and not only is it better, but it's not just rehashing the same game with different characters and whatnot. It's a completely different, fresh take on the asymmetrical horror genre, and I love that. I'm sure a lot of other people do too. Now, let's talk to Social. Um... When it comes to other people playing the game, like, there, there's a lot. Like, I, I haven't gotten to a game where I've had to wait probably more than um, 
up to 40 seconds M more than 40 seconds i've never had to wait and i think that's amazing i think that's great um it's also cross platform and you, you can play basically with any of your friends um there's no like level capping or anything and i love that now we could talk about the plot the narrative and all that but um there really really isn't much of one just because again it's like an asymmetrical you just jump right into it but what i can tell you is that most of your favorite i guess pals from the other game are back um i mean not game shows <laughs> Um, so basically everyone from the first Evil Dead all the way to the series, um, are in it, and I really appreciate that. And not only that, but they're put in a way that doesn't feel unconventional. Um, one of my favorite, uh, people you slapped in there was Henry, Henry the Red, and he looks great, so. More or less, any of the, your favorite characters are most likely going to be in there. Now, going to the graphics, this game looks beautiful. One thing that this game has is finishers, and I love them. They look so good. Um, if you look at them, it kind of reminds you a lot of how Jason finishes off survivors in Friday the 13th. However, the difference this time is that you, the survivor, are doing that to the demons, and it switches everything up. It doesn't make you just feel like you're a passive, uh, passive survivor, and whenever you get used to the game, it's not scary anymore. This game, even when you quote-unquote get used to it, there's still more to be had, and you can still have a bloody good time. It, honestly, a lot of the animations, even they, they might not be as long or creative, but they feel good. Um, and I would say they definitely contend even with um, Mortal Kombat. Uh, I know that's a very bold thing to say, but it feels smooth, like butter. One of the things that um, Bruce Campbell himself talked about when this game released um, was the aesthetics of the atmosphere. And that's something I can completely agree with. When you were doing the missions, um, or uh, when I was doing the missions in this game, you could feel the atmosphere. It was kind of scary. And honestly, there's a lot of times where if you were playing by yourself, it is pretty scary. Um, it's just that you're able to crack jokes, the characters crack jokes, and it makes the atmosphere, again, feel very true to the series itself. And I think the developers did a perfect job of that. Animations are great. Everyone has basically their own little um, movements um, that are special to them. Graphics are probably one of the biggest things that this game hits perfectly. Now let's talk about technical. Um, this is release date, so I would say there are a few bugs, but really this is run really well compared to most other games I've seen. This is not like a cyberpunk at all. Um, and I'm really glad to say that. The only issues I've heard so far, um, which I could let you know is there were people abusing uh, frames when it comes to certain characters and uh, canceling animation canceling and um that was dealt with right away from the devs which is amazing and sometimes you get stuck on objects but again they're updating immediately when they see issues and um they're taking input great so i love that moving on to value price i believe it was about 40 bucks no i maybe maybe 30 but um if you want deluxe i believe it's 40 and the thing is it's on Epic Games, so the cool thing is if you buy it, most likely you're going to get a discount, because guess what? It's Epic Games, unlike Cough Cough Steam. So, um, it's very nice that um, you're able to buy it off of Epic Games, and I think that's perfect. Um, plus, you could probably find some kind of discount code um, if you look hard enough. DLCs are also going to be coming. There's already been one that's been confirmed to come soon, and um, it's looking promising. It's going to be the castle from e uh, Army of Darkness, so that's pretty awesome. Um... And again, I, I've seen the devs, they're way more accommodating and open-minded than the Dead by Daylight ones, and when you have a community that's growing, especially an asymmetrical horror genre, you, you need a development team that's actually going to listen to you, and this might be it, um, especially since a lot of people have been um, more or less neglected when it comes to uh, Dead by Daylight. Finally, we're going to talk about audio. The only reason I'm leaving this last is because our boy Bruce Campbell... Um, Bruce Campbell's a Chad. We all know it. I love Bruce Campbell, and he is back at it with all the voice lines. Everything in it, when you're playing the game, you're going to chuckle at least once, I bet. I mean, it's it's, it's awesome. Um, even advertising the game, you look in Bruce's Twitter, you'll find everything about it. So, I, I, I think this has been an amazing accomplishment to be able to actually find voice acting that is of this caliber on a horror game. Without having to find all this, like, licensing bullshit, like, with... Dead by Daily, and I understand that Dead by Daily has a lot of issues already with that, and I'm I'm glad they try, but I mean, all you gotta look at is the Pyramid Head con, um, controversy with Dead by Daily, and you all know what I'm talking about then, so I mean, not Pyramid Head, uh, Pinhead <laughs> so, um, other than that, music's great, sound effects are great, and uh, I, I think it's great so, with all that being said would I recommend this game? Absolutely absolutely, I would not say it's at a perfect state yet, um, and I do think the one thing I would tell you, if you are going to jump into this, especially if you're looking to play with multiplayer, is be 
careful for balancing. This is not perfectly balanced yet. I think everything is really well just from an outside view to have some fun with some pals, but don't expect this to be the most balanced yet, especially since it's early uh, access. I shouldn't say early, my, my bad. Um, since it just came out, it's not early access. Don't, don't worry. <laughs> it's not a limbo. But um, just do expect that. I would say it's a lot harder to play Demon right now. But um, again, things are getting worked out um, already. They've had an update to fix um, some unbalanced issues. I, I love that. So um, that's the one complaint I can have. But everything else is strong. You are going to have one groovy time. And uh, if you could please maybe check out the Twitch I'm on. Maybe you could play with me and um, make up for yourself um, if this is a good game or not. So I um, hope this helped. I'm going to give this probably around an eight and a half. And um, I hope you guys are able to jump into this because this might be one of the best asymmetrical horror games we've had yet. So all I've got to say, guys, is, as always, smile. Keep your head up. Now let's fight for a future so bright. It's too much for eyes. My name is Bloody Sunny Out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Whoop.